Hello YouTube. It is Christmas Eve. And guess what I'm doing? <laughs> no, no presents. I am here hunting. I'll be camping here in the close to where I killed that little spike at. And uh, my family's a little strange. I mean, we celebrate Christmas all year long. Uh, so, I mean, Christmas to us is just calling and letting people know you love them and going and doing what you enjoy. So, that's what I'm doing. And uh, stick with me because we're going to spend a few days. Probably leave out Thursday, so spend a couple of nights and uh, see if we can't catch a big one coming through here. So, right now, I just beached the boat where I beached it last time. Water's up a little bit. So I'm going to walk around, make sure the deer's still coming in here, and then we'll set up camp somewhere. Got winds coming out of the east, so that's going to be a problem. But uh, I think we can work around it, so stick with me. Uh, we'll do a little short scout here, and then we'll set up camp somewhere. So there's enough deer sign here to actually try for them again anyway. There may be a shooter in there. That's where I, I skinned that, or quartered up that little deer. I mean, there ain't a trace anywhere. This is pretty fresh. Boy, that's a big deer right there. Yeah, we definitely want to set up a stand here. So with an east wind, I need to figure out a different spot to put my stand. So stick with me. That's new. Okay. Another one up there. I think it's another good sized deer in here. I don't see any place. He's coming right down this edge just late. That east wind, it's not going to be good. So I'm going to see if I can get across this little slough. I may not be able to use the stand, just sit on the ground in some brush. That may be my best bet. So I think it's one I'm going to try. So stick with me. Alright, I'm going to cross the a little slew there. There's a slew. There's the bank where the deer's at. Get a little close up on it. So what I've done is back in these cottonwoods, just kind of built up a little brush that's fell. Just kind of built a little hide, if you will. And I got a bucket set right in there up against that cottonwood. So I sit down in there and be real still. The wind is hitting me right in the back right now. So it's blowing my scent that away. And I'm going to pick up and uh, find me a camping spot up over that hill somewhere. And uh, get off this core land. So, I think I got a pretty good spot picked out. Let me uh, get over there and, and sit down and I'll show you what I, all I can see. Okay. Right there's that little slough where they're crossing. And coming right up the edge of the, the lake. Right in there. So, I think I got enough to kind of break up my silhouette a little bit. We get here later on the scene around two o'clock or so after I set up camp. So stick with me. Well, I went to the boat to get my last pack, and along the way, this is what I stumbled across. 
I don't know how well that's going to show up on video, but that, my friends, is a mate and scrape. And it has a licking branch on top of it, right there. And that looks like that's been done since the rain. Man, I thought the rut was over. Get the track. That's a big deer. The problem is, there's my boat. There's where the deer's running right across the deal there. And right across that brush pile there is my camp. Man, I'm in a pickle. Hmm. Alright, we gotta figure something else out. <laughs> okay, I walked that way on down into the woods. Found a couple more rubs. Pine's about that cat. So, it's a pretty good sized buck. Uh, problem is, if I go back behind me to camp, that east wind's blowing my scent right straight into him. If I cross, camp across the slough here, again, the deer is coming from that direction as well. So, I'm in a pickle. <laughs> uh, I think the best thing to do. Yeah, set up a camp here is get back in the brush as much as possible. Just do a cold camp tonight. And uh, it's only supposed to get down to 28. So, Let's see if we can do a cold camp. Have as less sin as possible. And uh, get up in a stand first thing in the morning. Hunt this evening. And be in a stand first thing in the morning and see if I can't lay this big boy down. It looks like it'd be a pretty good sized deer, it'd be a lot of meat. So you know that's the best sign I've seen in a long time. First maiden scrape I've seen this year. I mean it's they have been maybe they the rut came late this year, I don't know. That's good stuff. Alright, so we're going to regroup. We're going to tie this, this camp up. And I'm going to move further back in the brush. So, I won't be able to film it because it's going to be pretty tight. But maybe I'll have enough room to show you what it looks like when I'm done. So stick with me. Alright, that's my little camp set up. In the brush. Trying to hide as much as possible. Move to the other side of the island. My my boat's to the to the right, probably about 300 yards or so. Set up camp. Move my my camera out here. Look down, and this is what I saw. Old mate and scrape. If you don't think it's a mate and scrape? Just look up at the top. Right here. See, that's a licking branch. You always chewed it. Don't look like he's been through here for a while, so. Maybe, maybe we'll be all right. But, I mean, everywhere you get out here, you're on a deer run or deer bed or something. So, there's just no place to get. So, anyway, that's where I'm going to set tonight. Um, I'm going to give it a few hours and kind of cool off a little bit. Uh, probably about an hour. And then I'm going to see if I can't find me a tree stand. Tree to get up in. So, stick with me. Alright, well, it's 2 o'clock. So, didn't have anything better to do. 
I'll just come out here and sit on my boat. Got the tree, got the brush kind of blocking me a little bit. So, sit here and be still. Be quiet for a little while. See if he comes out. Scrapes. Over to my right, about, about 30 yards. So, if he comes to that scrape, I mean, that's directly downwind for me. So, he ain't gonna hit it. No matter where I get out there, it's gonna be wrong. The wind's coming straight from that direction, right across me. Straight down that slope. If I had a south wind, we'd be in business. But don't. So, best thing I can do is hunt across the slough and uh, try to get the big boy. If I don't kill anything this time, try to get it when the wind changes. I'm sure he'll come back to it. Uh, so, anyway, so stick with me and uh, we'll see what happens. It's going to be dark here in about 20, 30 minutes. So, I'm going to ease on back to camp. i got to put uh, all of my, my bed together. So, I want to do that with a flashlight. So anyway, i got my stand set up, ready to go in the morning. Try to get there by daylight. And hopefully... I think the wind's supposed to change to out of the north. If it does, the hunt is on. <laughs> so, anyway, hang with me. And like I said, tonight it's going to be beef jerky and probably some uh, dried fruit. So, anyway, not too exciting. And I uh, got uh, a good book on my, uh, on my phone. So, uh, we'll probably read till I get to sleep. I can't keep my eyes open. So, uh, I think it's uh, Woods, Woodscraft. It's uh, it's an old book. It was done in the late 1800s, I believe. Uh, so, it'll be pretty good. One of the, the older uh, woodsman books. So, it's not George Washington Sears, it's somebody else. Uh, let me see if I can find it on the phone. You like my capote? <laughs> That's a special maid right there. Cut up a blanket and the buttons. See the button? Osage Orange. I had a little dowel of Osage Orange. Cut the buttons out. Drill them out. They're sewed on with the artificial sinew. The blanket is uh, uh, from Poland. It's Polish. I think I got it at uh, Sportsman's Guide. I paid 20 bucks for two of them or something like that. Real thick. Real thick, good stuff. So anyway, I cut it out and uh, had a very special lady sewed it up for me. My mother, <laughs> bless her heart. So she probably watched this and get me in trouble. But anyway, wilderness ways. That is uh, by William Joseph Long, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna read it. It's actually it was free on Kindle, so it was uh, late 1800s, I believe, early 1900s. So it'll be kind of interesting. So we're gonna we're gonna read that and see. I read uh, George Washington Sears last year. And uh, really enjoyed that uh, nest book. So anyway, I like 
I like reading the old old woodsman's. They uh, had an ex exceptional amount of knowledge. But anyway, so we're gonna head back to camp. Get settled in for the night. Snack on some stuff and then turn in and read. Exciting, exciting stuff. But in the morning, we're gonna get on the stand. Flip about daylight a little bit before and uh, see if we can't lay the big boy down. So stick with me. I'm going to talk a little bit more about my capote. I'm really proud of this this thing. Mother did a very good job on it. It's big. I wanted it big so I could have several different layers on under it. And uh, right now I got it over the top of my my little belt but you can actually use it just wrap it around your entire belt on it but the sleeves you can unbutton them and roll them down cover your hands up but it goes I'll show you how far down it goes it goes down to almost Midway between the knees and, and, your, and your leg there. So, anyway, sleeves are real big and roomy. So you can put your hands in there and keep them warm. So, I really like it. Man, this thing, it will burn you up if you ain't careful. It's very warm. So, if you're watching, thanks, Mom. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get the bed rolled done and and snack and turn in for the night. This time, I promise. We'll talk to y'all in the morning. Okay, I'm in my stand. It is. the sunrise. About 30 yards from that main screen. So I'm gonna get quiet and see what happens. It's Christmas morning. Merry Christmas everyone. Well there's the buck main scrape. And he has not tended it today or yesterday. Now it is it is uh, 11 15. Just climbed out of the stand uh, about uh, 10 minutes ago. Uh, heard a snort and a, and a wheeze, a couple of them, as he was headed out. I knew better than to hunt that stand with a wind at the east. But. I was hoping, but anyway, he smelled me. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to pack up and get out of here and let him settle down and come back next week because uh, that's, a, that's a nice buck, I believe. And uh, I haven't seen a nice buck out here in a long time, so. Besides, the wind is supposed to change. It's supposed to come out of the northeast, which is even worse. And uh, two, it's coming right straight across the lake, so it's going to be tough for me to come get back to the house if I spend another night. So it's just best if I head on to the house. So I'm going to pack up. Yeah, I'll sign off here in a little bit. Yeah, I'm all packed up. It's uh, about 20 minutes till 12. And. Uh, Time to get out of here before the winds change. Well, I hope I didn't run that buck off, but uh, sometimes you just do stuff you know you shouldn't do, and uh, that's what I did this time. Did see uh, three does uh, that crossed that slough on that point um, way too far. Uh, even if there was a buck in them, I could have took a shot. It's probably 120 yards. That's a little too far for a slug, so 
But I did see some deer, and like I say, that uh, I'm pretty sure that was that buck that wheezed at me. Uh, it did a snort wheeze twice um, as he was headed out. First one, and I heard him again as he was moving on down that on the other side of the slough over there. So anyway, we're gonna let him cool down, and rest a while, and then we're gonna try it again next week. Next week's the last week, so I gotta get him next week. Well, I appreciate your views, your comments, your suggestions, purchases, all your support. Um, it means the world to me. I say that every time, but but it does. It it means a whole lot to me. I appreciate it. And uh, until the next one, y'all take care and uh, take plenty of band-aids and lots of knives. We'll see you next week. Bye.